Link and cashback code in the description. When this is my calling, flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Can't what have it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back today, guys, to the channel for a brand new episode, man. We have a mobile Monday on a Thursday. We're playing a game called Top Drives. Now, I checked it out on the Google Play Store. Also, my man Stefan, he plays it a lot on his channel on Casual Mobile Gaming. If you guys are not subscribed to him, make sure you guys go and do so. Very active channel. And uh, he does produce some good content over there. But he has hookups with the game devs, and they hooked my account up with a bunch of different credits today. So we're going to go on a little pack spree on this game, and we're going to collect a few new cars. Now, if you guys don't know how this works, it's a very simple concept, and it's very cool, man. If you guys remember back in the day with, you know, card games and stuff like that, every, you know, card was unique. Almost think of it like Pokemon, but with cards. And you go head-to-head -head in five different rounds, and you strategically go against another player's deck. You know, it's just it's a different concept that's unique. There's hundreds of different challenges and, you know, different scenarios that they've set up in the game. So, you know, maybe one race you'll be doing some type of, you know, slalom event. Maybe you'll be doing the uphill section. So many different things that you can do on this game. And we're going to kind of go through this today, play it. This is our first pack that we are opening right now. And there's a lot of cars, man. 2016 Ford Ranger. Obviously, you know, they're not heavily detailed when you are playing it. But, oh my god, man. 454 Chevelle, 1970. That's my dream car right there. Top speed, 130, 0 to 66.3, and 57 grip, real wheel drive. Now that all plays in to the results on the race. And you actually watch the race in real time, so you can actually see how the race is going. It's a very cool concept. I'm excited for it today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys do want to keep seeing this on the channel, don't forget to slap that like button. I know a lot of you guys are wondering how this game actually works. Now, obviously, as you progress, you'll unlock different sections here to go into Germany, Finland, Colombia, the States, you know, UK, all the way over here to Monaco at the very end. 350 stars. Now, we have yet to unlock those because we obviously we need to progress through the game. So, we've already done two of them on the tutorials. Straight line stuff is easy. So, you actually get an overlay of the track and you get to see, you know, the different surface type, what's going to go on with the weather for that day, and you can kind of, you know, judge your deck per the conditions of the game. So, let's just go ahead here. And now, I forgot to mention this game is free to play. There is no, you don't, you don't have to pay for anything. So, currently, this is our deck, and we're going to be going against the deck at the bottom right there. So, if I think that I am good enough to go against them, we're going to go ahead and do so. So right now, uh, you know, if you look at the top speed and the 0 to 60, you can kind of play with what we get. So right here, maybe, you know, maybe I'll make it interesting and I'll throw in maybe something like that to go head to head. You know, just maybe fun. Obviously, you're, you're trying to win this best of five series. I don't want to give them the upper hand too easily, but right, I mean, maybe, maybe we can have some fun. And we only get these cars right now. We don't get the cars that we just unlocked, uh, which probably means that we have to wait to use those. And when we're in a better section, we'll use it right there. That was a bad setup. My fastest car is at the very end. So you can kind of see the strategic battle of placing it. It does show you where you are. I think the man's, I think we're dead even. Oh, we are too. I don't think we're getting it. Oh, shit. We almost had him right there. Now, I'm not controlling this at all, but you are seeing how it's working. And it kind of reminds me of the motorsport manager on the PC, but just very fast pace it's simplistic and it's interesting right so we lost that race now you can skip them so if you really want you can skip through these and bypass them but it's fun to actually watch these go down now once again um having a little bit of trouble 10.7 we do have them on the top speed so we may catch them on that straight line here and you know this kind of it's a very different concept i don't think i've ever seen anybody do this for actual cars that are made into cards that have their own you know settings and everything we smoked that mini cooper holy shit okay round three right we get the slalom event how sick is that man they're in back and there's hundreds of these you know so race lost on that one so we lost two out of the uh no i think we've lost two of them yeah so this is going to be the decider right here we're getting stuck in the mud are you kidding me right now g-force test we're not doing too well Real wheel drive grip. We have a better grip. Let me show you how to make your car as fast. Well, perfect, man. Tap the car you want to tune up. I didn't know that we could do that. Uh, so let's maybe go with that one right there. And then upgrade to access options. Ooh, okay. This one, okay. Perfect. So you can actually upgrade your car. That is interesting. One more time. Damn, how many times do we need? 
Stage two, we can probably do one more here. I'm gonna head back and uh, let's try this out one more time. So, can I maybe drop in the Mustang? Oh, here we go. Now they're done. Yeah, this is gonna be a damn walk in the park here. Drop the Beamer in. Now, I think you only get to use these one time though. So that's the other thing that plays into this is that you kind of have to understand, you know, when to use. Ooh, you have a race quota as well. Okay, now now we're getting somewhere. I like this right here. Let me throw that in. 72. No. 70 out of 70. Perfect. Okay. So we're able to mix and match find the best suited ones and we're gonna go in here and run show obviously will get harder as you go for sure but let's give this a shot here we go mustang yeah it doesn't even stand a chance man we got the uh chevelle bmw oh my god this is gonna be easy i'd love to know your thoughts on this game down below man you know how do you feel about it i think it's definitely something unique i think i'm gonna play this for a little bit you know it's just it's simple you know you don't have to really actually drive the car so it's you know, you're kind of just an autopilot in that sense and you just kind of you know get to duel somebody else with cards right you know it's it's a very weird exp oh my god yeah the mustang showing the dominance on the track the mini cooper damn man 155 top speed Woo! look at this and we get extra points because he's not finished yet 192 absolutely dummy okay so there's a strategy behind the game again really cool to see now obviously our car does not even look like a Chevelle so they're just modeled that's how they get away with being able to do that we almost lost that race actually uh, but I just noticed that with the Chevelle it didn't even look like it at all so that's what they're doing they're just you know having the licensed cards in the game and obviously if it's a convertible it does look like a damn convertible in the rain though obviously time is sped up which is nice to see and again we're gonna leave him way behind i definitely want to check this out online because i think this is going to be a lot of fun uh to actually be able to duel somebody so if we wanted to we can skip this whole thing so we just hit skip it goes to like the last two seconds of the race and boom especially if you're on a time crunch you can kind of you know do that we're gonna go ahead and take the win right now and uh i do believe you get to unlock a few of these as you progress through this campaign mode so lots of things to do uh this game is definitely interesting to play man now i want to see my cars looks like, now it does look like i still have the mustang i still have a lot of them i don't think that they actually do go away so you get to build your deck uh with everything out here that's actually interesting you can oh i see you only get to hold a certain amount of cars actually and by this it looks like i can hold a lot okay now, if you guys are playing it would love to see your best cards, man. Throw them down on Twitter. Slap underscore train. We're going to open up a few more of these packs here. RQ55 reward. Oh, I guess I get all these damn rewards. Oh, that's right. They hooked my account up. Oh, man. We're going to go on an opening spree right now. Nissan America. I mean, just the uniqueness of these cards. Honda Legend 3.5 V6. 1,000 bucks. 10 gold. And one slot okay so Porsche carbon fiber packs oh my god five cards at least one ultra rare or better and one super rare or better Porsche well damn sign my ass up let's go man look at this thing carbon fiber I wish they were physical packs man I used to love opening up cards back in the day love them man Chevrolet Monte Carlo Infinity Q50 okay 144 2014 79 grip what a beast standard tires we also have Porsche Boxster, super rare performance. We have performance tires, 82 grip, 5.9, 159. That's probably one of my best cards so far. Oh, 911 Carrera, 94, ultra rare performance. We have performance tires, 82 grip, 167 speed. It just kind of gives you an idea, man. I mean, you can unlock a lot of different cards in this game. SUVs, convertibles, 80s, damn, 90s, okay. They've sorted all of these packs also. That's really cool. So if you really wanted to, you know what? Let's just, might as well do another one here. We're going to go with the uh, Japan pack. Open this up, see what we get. Ford Focus. What? I thought it was a Japan pack, man. We got a Ford Focus. What the hell is this shit? Fiat 500. Which we already own, so we only, we already got that. Suzuki Swift Rare. Give me something good, man. Suzuki S. SX4 S Cross 
not bad. It's actually a decent one there. Premium Japanese cars. Five cards, at least one super rare or better Japanese. Okay, so you get one of them in there. I like this game right now. Honda Insight. Things ugly as shit, man. Fiat X19. Uh, e Space. Okay, that actually looks kind of cool. 131 top speed. What a beast. Ooh, Vauxhall Chevette HSR performance tires, 82 grip, 125 top speed. That's a pretty damn nice little machine there. Thousand bucks, okay. That's for level 60. Porsche 356, 1955. Damn, man, it's just cool to see these cars, right? I mean, it's like you're opening actual hockey player packs from back in the day, right? You just want to see what you get. Caterham 7160, 2013. That's nice. That's going to be pretty damn agile as well, too. I'm surprised that there's no weight on these cars. I guess that also plays into the 0 to 60 time, right? So I guess it all has something to do with it. But 1,000, 10 gold, one slot. Now I'm curious if they're going to put an online event in there. Oh, we have daily events. Okay, daily events. Uh, Porsche 918 Spider Finals. Oh, shit. Let's do the daily event. What do we got here? Tier rewards. Two... 3-1, okay. Now, I'm curious if there is a uh, actual leaderboard system, which I'm sure there is. That's kind of cool, though, that you have to make sure that you're in the the proper damn specs here. Otherwise, you can't run. Uh, D-Class, let's see what that's worth here. 79. Maybe, oh, no, I think it's that damn Porsche. The Porsche is just way too fast. We don't need that right now. Uh, let's maybe drop the Q60 in. So this is where it gets a little bit fun at the same time, right? It's different. I'm going to drop that in. And we need one that's worth five, but damn. Not that many. We got six. I can use the Mini Cooper again, man. I mean, you know what? Let's go actually. Let's go that there, and that should be perfect. All right, 70 out of 70. Um, we have the Mustang. The Mustang is super fast last time around, so entered an event. Top drives, 11677. I guess we're just playing against somebody random, man. This is sick. Okay, so we get to see his deck before we go. And then, oh shit. Here we go. So there is, I guess, online here. Daily events. Okay. So we're going to go 134. Let's put that against the Corvette. 141. Um, what's his best car here? Because that's what the Mustang's going to have to go against. The Mustang's going to go round three. And then we have... Oh. Can I go back and change my order? Oh, shit, man. I can't. Okay, that's not good. That's what the Mustang's going against. And then we'll have to do... Oh, we may... We may win this. I don't know. This is going to be interesting. Here we go. This is why I like this, though, right? It's just... It's just randomness. You never really know what's going to... Oh, it's a drag! Go! Did I win? Oh, shit. No, I didn't. Okay. We lost that race. A little disappointed on that. But... I didn't know it was going to be a drag race. That sucks. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Round two. City streets, Beamers in front, yep. That M3, man, 2001, that, I love those. Absolutely love those. Oh yeah, we're losing them hard. Ooh, look at this thing go! We have the same tires on here. Oh yeah, we got the stake driving that shit. There you go, rack up the points, rack it up. Thank you. Break it up, bag it up. Alright, we won that. That was a ruthless round on him. Mustang's gonna dominate that shit. There we go. One mile drag. Ooh, my god. He's hit 144 on the strip there. Taking two. We are ahead by one. This is... Oh, shit. Slalom? Yeah, I should have went with the Caterham also. I gotta pay attention to see what event's actually happening. And then base it by them. I'm just picking car matchups. But no. We gotta go event matchup as well. So we're now two for two. This is the final round. Are we going to make it? I don't think so. Oh, shit. We are 6.4, 0 to 60. We have a way less grip, though. Oh, what was that? Did he bottom out? Oh, the man absolutely... He just stopped. I don't understand what just happened, but he stopped. We did win, though. We got one star. I'll take that. Yeah, let's go, man. What and oh. We're third? Daily of end points. We're third. Ooh, okay. We're going for number one. I'm going to definitely drop in the caterer. So we can use that on the slalom events there. Um, what else do I need? What about those new ones? 
Caterham, I'm gonna upgrade this in terms of the horsepower as well. Drag donor vehicles up to fuse slots to upgrade your car to stage two. Holy shit, let me, uh, yeah. Or is that gonna increase? I'm gonna try it anyways. We're fusing. Skip fuse. What happens? I guess it just got a little bit better. All right, cool. Appreciate that. 70 out of 70. Let's go, man. We're going to be going up against uh, another driver here. All right, so let's do this strategically here. Quarter mile drag. 157 on there. And I'm going to... I doubt we're going to get up to that. I think that'll be a close race, actually. Half mile drag now. This is where we're going to stretch this out. Boom. 165. One mile drag. That thing's got some damn wheels to it. Can't upgrade it, unfortunately. We can flip the car. Look at that. Holy shit. Look at all the options there. That's sick. Okay. Uh, we have no other choice but to do the Mustang. 4.8. We we may get off the line a little bit faster, but he'll definitely blow by me. So we're, we're going to lose that. Slalom test. Um, and then Twisty Road. Wow, we're going to get dummied on this one. Did not pick right at all. So this is where it comes into play. Is where you really need to be thinking about what you're going to do. No, holy shit. Never mind, man. We won that. SVX. That that looks very interesting. Okay. I can't even pronounce the damn name of that thing, man. Here we go. This is the uh, half mile dragon. Look at this, man. The Corvette. Coming out in front. How, though? 6.2. I, I guess this... I guess the 0 to 60 on that. I'm not really too sure, but... I'll take that though, man. 1970 Corvette winning it. This is going to be the interesting one here. One mile. Oh, the Mustang. Go. How though? Wow. We won that as well. That was uh, uncalled for. I was not expecting that. All right. This is the slalom test. We're still in the lead here. Look at this. Go, go, go. Look at my little Chevette go. Yes, man. Are we going to get a full sweep? I don't know. This is going to be a tough one. It's the twisty road with the catering. Oh. Oh, yeah. Come on. You can see the little ABS symbol popping up, too. Go, go, go. Oh, this was a perfect damn set here to use. So I guess you really never know until you race it, man. Look at that. Let's go, the Caterham, we're five for five. I would have bet money that we were gonna get swept. I really did, oh my God. Taking home the win right now. Well done, you won all three stars, man. Big thank you. That's two and oh, that's gonna put us back up to fourth place right now. This is a sick game, man, I really like this. Nissan Pulsar, holy shit. XP, we got damn Ford, Medano Hybrid, whatever, man, Mondino, what? <laughs> God damn, man. You're going to learn a lot of new cars from this game. Really did enjoy this. Would love to know your thoughts down below, man. Are you playing it? If so, maybe I'll run into you on the online damn daily events. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge thanks to Stefan once again for sending me over all these coins from the game dev over there. Make sure you guys go check out his channel, Casual Mobile Gaming. That will be found in the description box down below for you guys. And he does post quite a bit of content over there. And also, huge thanks to the game devs of Top Drive. I'm going to definitely keep this on my phone because this has been a lot of fun. And uh, maybe even come back for another episode. So let me know your thoughts on that. Thank you guys once again for watching. I'm out. Peace.